Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Luxley. The tip I'm about to give you is something any given player can achieve, can pick up or do. It's something accessible to everyone. Matter of fact, it's extraordinarily underrated. And I'm very, very surprised none of the so-called pros ever produced a video on this tip. It's reasonably possible they did so. Maybe they produced a video many years ago. It's very, very possible, but I don't recall ever seeing one, and I apologize if I'm incorrect. After all, 50% of the time, I'm right about 100% of the time. Then again, it's also very possible the so-called pros haven't provided this particular tip because it really can't be used in arena and skirmishes. Matter of fact, it most certainly can be used in battlegrounds and especially even surprisingly in RBGs. Let's be real here for a minute. If and when these elite players step into a BG, they're usually followed by two pocket healers and two players setting up kills for them. Let's be real. We've seen it in the videos. I've been in random BGs with some of these players and you can see it on the playing field. You can see it on the battlefield. And don't get the wrong idea here. I'm not criticizing or judging that. They're a well-known name, and quite frankly, that makes them a target. And I'm also speaking from experience when I tell you guys this. Back in WAD, when I saw Swifty's name on the other RBG team, a fever of tunnel vision swept over me, and I went straight for him straight for them. Now, just because someone is an established name or they possess an elite rating in PvP, it does not make them a very good teacher. And it does not mean they can break things down and communicate to other people a step-by-step -step process or an inch-by-inch -inch process and make it fun and make it entertaining. I think Al Pacino says it best. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Yeah. Between living and dying. That's a clip from a really great movie called Any Given Sunday. And at the end of this video, you can check out the entire clip. I have it there for you. Let's be frank here. We're all human. We all make mistakes. We all have moments of weakness. And we, we need some inspiration every now and then or some motivation or some strength. And that clip in its entirety will give you a major, major Shaka Buddha. Translation, Shaka Buddha means good, swift, spiritual blow to the head that alters your reality and gives you a better perception of reality for a short period of time. Al Pacino in, in that particular movie is a football coach, pro football coach. He can't pass for 300 yards and throw three TDs. He can't run through a defense and gain 100 yards. And he certainly can't sprint down the field and catch a football over his shoulder. In all honesty, Al Pacino's character probably when he was a little boy probably dreamed of being a pro football player and maybe even at one point in high school and in college he gave it a hundred percent until he really just couldn't give anymore he just didn't have the talent or he just didn't have the opportunity and failed yet his players respect him and you can see that in the, in the full clip how much they respect him and how much they're going to give everything they have for him that's a gift when people can get the best out of other people. Matter of fact, that's the mark of a champion. Let's distill this down to its essence. They respect him because he respects the game and can easily break things down into a step-by-step, inch-by-inch program. And most important of all, his pl he can motivate his players. That's why they respect him. Now, I kind of, I, I want to apologize for this long soliloquy. I made a, I'm going to make a promise here and now. I'll work on the cliff note version of my videos going forward, but I really wanted to hammer home this point because it's very important. 
Very important that once you open your mind to learning and improving, you'll realize that you can learn and improve from everyone and anyone pretty much. That means, yes, there is something to learn from the guy who says, hmm, maybe I'll give PvP a try for the first time today. Do I need gear? How do I queue? Yes, you could learn from that guy. And, and once you kind of open your mind to this sort of thing, you're going you're to find yourself improving as a player, and you're going to find yourself motivating other people because people are motivated by enthusiasm more than anything else now here's the tip go to Ogremar or stormwind make sure you're in the right faction when you do that and pick up the hoarder alliance battle standard they will cost you one measly mark of honor one bg you win you gotta just win one bg and chances are you got a good shot to get a mark of honor or some of those uh occasional events they'll reward marks of honor rather than just have the RNG that maybe you get it, you'll definitely get it at one of those events. The BG events, the skirmish events, they give them away as, a, as part of the quest. And you can pick this up from Master Sergeant Biggins at your service on the ally side, or the Horde side, you can pick it up from Brave Stonehide. Obviously, he's a Torrent. Now, they are located in the same area where you can buy the Vanilla and Catechism PvP gear, and I'll put a link in the description so you can kind of surf your way through for more information. Now, for two minutes, the battle standard will increase the health of all players standing within 45 yards for two minutes, which is pretty darn long when you think about it, and extremely useful, especially if you're defending a node in AB, Eye of the Storm, Deepwood Gorge. Actually, it, it's useful in every single BG out there, except maybe Isle of Conquest and Strand, because nobody likes those anyway. Matter of fact, if you play a class that can self-buff, Class that can self-buff your health. Well, those classes are any given tank, a warrior, resto shaman, monk, or disc priest. Maybe there's one I'm leaving out. I'm not sure, but I think I got them all. The battle standard will stack with your self-buff, your self-healing, uh, not self-healing buff, but self-stamina buff. And it will also stack with the stamina buff. <laughs> stamina buff. -ba -ba. <laughs> I know, looks like I'd speak English. It will also stack with the stamina buff you occasionally receive in AV. I forgot what that's called off the top of my head. Now, I'm not the greatest WoW player. I pretty much consider myself a little bit better than average, but to put it kindly, I'm sort of stuck in an endless learning phase. Then again, if you think about it, aren't all of us? You know, my grandfather once said, the minute a person thinks they know everything, is the same minute they're indirectly admitting to everyone they really know nothing at all. In the two AV clips you see in this video, I'm on the wrong side of a 1v2 both times. And this isn't out there to demonstrate skill, this is out there to illustrate my point that with this battle standard, it can give you a little bit of an edge, it could buy you a little bit of time. And when you add up all those inches, that could mean the difference between winning and losing. And both times that I prevail, it's largely a result of just me being a little bit more resourceful and popping that special little battle standard. Here's the clip. Al Pacino, take it away. And thanks for watching, everyone. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh... I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, 
I can't even stand the face I see in a mirror. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Yeah. Between living and dying. Yeah. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Yeah. Right? That's a team, gentlemen. Hell yeah. And either we heal now as a team yeah. or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do?